Alright. Hi there, Vikings. It's time for me to teach you the secret of the universe, or how to add sound to a Google presentation. So this is going to be a quick presentation. I'm going to take you through secret number one, which is called the link. Secret number two, the video. Secret number three, which is adding a video sound effect. And then the final secret that I have for you, start at feature from YouTube. So one thing that you'll find very quickly with Google presentations is that there is no way to just insert an audio clip like you could in Google, uh, pardon me, Microsoft's PowerPoint. So you'll have to do a couple different workarounds and primarily using YouTube videos, although you could if you have a link to an online audio file such as a SoundCloud file or maybe something on GrooveShark linking directly to those files. So let's get started with the link. So at the beginning of this video, I clicked on the little picture of the bumblebee, and that linked and opened up this YouTube video, The Flight of the Bumblebee. The simplest thing that you can do is go to YouTube, find the video with the audio recording that you want, copy the link, and then go into your presentation, and then really anywhere, put a text field and paste that link. This hyperlink will open up a separate window or tab and the video that you have selected will start playing in the background. So this is a good solution if you want to have music playing while you're giving your presentation on every slide. You can also hide the link so that it looks a little cleaner. I went and I inserted an image and I found an image of a bumblebee and then once I reduced the size of that image and then you can actually go and click on this link icon while the picture is selected and paste your YouTube link in and click apply and now that image will actually be the trigger to the audio sound. So I could use that picture of an audio icon. But Those are the simplest ways to basically get some music playing in the background while you're giving your presentation. Secret number two is adding the video directly onto the slide that you're at. This is going to be good for shorter sound clips um, that you want to introduce an idea with. So I would come up to the insert tab and then go to video and then type in the name of the video that I want. So I'm going to do flight of the bumblebee and then I select that video and then just reposition it and if I'm only using it for audio purposes I can make it pretty small and just put it down here in the corner and then when I get to this slide I'd actually click on it and play it. I'll show you now. You'll notice that that slide had a, or that video actually had a lot of clapping in it. I'll come back to how you might solve that problem in a second. The third option is to do a video sound effect. So if you've ever used PowerPoint, there were all sorts of different sound effects that you could add into PowerPoint to add effect. If you did want to have something like that, again, you would go and insert video. And then you might do something like car horn sound. And then find the video clip that you want and add it. Reduce the size of the video to whatever size you want. And then I'll demonstrate this. Probably not a necessary tip, but one that's kind of fun. And then the final thing is to use YouTube's Start At feature so that if you have audio that you want to start at a specific place, you can do that without having to skip around and using the um, selector. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. On this Flight of the Bumblebees video that I have, if I come down to the Share tab, you'll see that the link here has a start at button and I can go in and I can adjust this so if I know that the clapping stops at 10 seconds I can change the setting here so that the music actually starts right at the point when the clapping stops. When I click off of this I can now use this link in my presentation so I'm going to go to insert and video and I'm going to do it by URL now so if I click here and I paste that URL so that it also has that 10 second mark, the video will start specifically at the place where I've asked it to. When I add that in here, I can then resize it. And this can either be what I have playing at the beginning, and conversely, I can use that link like I did at the beginning. 
again I could copy this link I can go to the beginning of my video and I can change this URL so that the video will open at exactly the time place that I want so that's the secret of adding audio to Google presentations